Hello all, in this video we are going to see how to analyze these goals and draw the charts for these. What, are, what is the distribution of grades among different sections? For that normally what we would do is we would go to our data here and able to see what are the grades of section one, how many grades basically we would count, okay? So instead of manually counting or doing like an average formula, some formula, we could have an option called pivot table in Excel and we will be using that. A pivot table extracts the statistics of the data from the larger set, from the larger data sets. So you could go to, you could select on one of the data cells, insert, pivot table here on the tables and you would be able to see the whole data has been selected table range and click on OK. Okay, so these are the pivot table fields that you would get. So how many fields that we have here? All the five fields that we got and we have four things um, which are filters, columns, rows and values. Okay. And we would like to see what are the rows, uh, what, what attributes that we want to be in the rows and what attributes that we want to be in the columns and what attributes that you want to be in the values or filters. Basically, you could see all those here. Now, what's our first goal? Our first goal is to know the distribution of grades among different sections. Okay. So we want to know the grades and sections, right? So for that, what I'm trying to do is I'm getting my section to the row. Okay, I have five sections and I would like to have my grades, which are nothing but letter grades to the columns. So now I have A, B, C, D and F grade. And now I have to know how many students are here, right? So we have student ID of student ID attribute and drag that to student ID. Okay. And we know we already know that we have 140 students, right? 140 records here. We know that there are 140 students. So now this is incorrect value. Okay. So what you need to do is you have to click this drop down list and look into the value field settings and the value field settings was selected as sum. Now it has to be selected as count. So now you got all the students, all the number of students that are, that who get A grade in section one and even B grade in section two, like all different grades in all the sections. Okay. So these are the sections and these are the grades. And we have in each section, each section size is total 28 and we have 140 students altogether. Okay, so a pivot table would give us the extracts, the statistics of the given larger data set. So now you could select this and go to your home, go to the insert and click on pivot chart and it would recommend you a chart actually okay so mostly whatever it recommends you know that would be a good chart otherwise if you don't want you could go for the pie pie charts usually use for the percentages so i am actually going for the column chart that they provided okay so here is the distribution of grades among the sections okay you could put the data labels so that you could see how many students earn A grade, how many students earn B grades and all. However, if you notice there are some are empty. So that means there are uh, in section three, there are no students with grade C. Okay, so uh, you could you could be able to see though that data. Um, so this is what, um, how you would be able to see this. I'm going to change my sheet name as goal one. And now I already got the goal here. You 
you could copy paste your goal and now you have to write a story how you would write a story you would write a story based on what you what your data reveals okay so section 3 has no section 5 has several students with or majority of students with f grade you know so you could make up or you could bring up your story however you would like to have to see the insights from your data okay so now go to the grades so what's our second goal to compare the student grades in each group to compare the students grades in each group so for that again you have to insert pivot pivot table sorry when you insert pivot table you get again in the same way so now we have to consider the group and we have to consider the networking okay let me put the group here and letter grade in the columns or if you want to interchange them you could do that too so we got all the letter grades and we have two number of uh, two groups here right in the columns now we have to fill with count of students so since it has been default by selected as sum you could go and select a count of students again we got 140 because all the students are in both the groups and we could be able to see this okay and uh, you could insert a insert a chart here as well pivot chart you know a grade group one group two so you could insert the data labels and you could compare with that okay so this is one way that you could write the second goal rename goal two and you could copy paste your goal and write your story here and i want to do my goal three which is to compare the average of students points among sections okay so now you should be able to tell me how to do this Yes, you're right. You have to insert pivot table first and we get all the attributes. And my goal is to compare the average of student points, right? Among sections. So I'm going to take my section, just click and drag and drop to rows. I got all the sections and we want points, student points now, not letter grades. So that has to be here in the values so now i would like to have average value right so average is here i mean do the and i get the average of this basically the grand average is 48 um i mean you could um, change these decimal points by selecting the data and uh, do these two numbering things uh, after this small point you would be able to see in two different points so that way you could see which uh, um, section is having highest average for that you could always go to insert put the pivot chart and uh, insert this one okay and change the chart name to an appropriate name okay so you have to write the appropriate title for the chart and insert the data labels and so data labels you could be able to see i'm removing grid lines so that i can see um 62.75 is the highest average for section one again 646.43 41 44 you know these are are almost uh, uh, same the lowest is section three okay so that's a story that brings from your goal 
Okay, rename the file, which is goal 3. Let me do the fourth one. What's the distribution of the average points of both the groups in each section? Okay, so look at this. This has average points of both the groups and section. So which means we have uh, multiple attributes here. What we have to do, we have to go to grades, go to insert pivot table. We are inserting pivot table. And we get uh, all the four attributes. And now we want to get the distribution of average points of both the groups in each section. Okay. So for that, both the groups in each section. For that, I'm going to drag and drop section to the row and group to the row as well because I need each group, each section, and each group. So you could see here, section one, section two, section three, section four, section five. In section one, I have group one, section two, group one, section three, one and two, section four, two, and section five, second group, right? And now I would like to have average of points, correct? So I would like to see the points. And when you select, it automatically comes to the points here, and definitely you have to go back and change the field settings to average you get the average and just select these numerical values and uh, in the home change your decimal points to two that way you would be able to see and insert a pivot chart Okay, same way you can change the name here. And if you notice here, in, in section one, how many groups I have? Only one group, which is group number one. Section two, I have only one group. Section three, I have group one and group two. Okay, so now if you insert data labels and remove grid lines, now you could get a better thing. So in the previous goal, we have seen section three has the worst average, I mean the lowest average. Whereas here, section one, sorry, section three, group one is having the lowest average and group two is having highest average. So highest average than section two, section four, and section five. So that means, you know, there might be some kind of uh, uh, data that you could, some kind of conclusion that you might bring up here. So we never know whether the group one has taken the exam first or group two has taken the exam first or later. So maybe you could you could you could assume or compare something that group one uh, have an exam that has been finished or prior taking to the group two students. Okay. So maybe group one students might have shared their questions to group two and in the section three they have two different groups and the section three students can talk to their classmates very easily and they may get the uh, questions and their average is high. Okay, again, this is all my assumption. That's a story that you have to bring up. Again, the story should be related to the data, but not like a super fiction, science fictional stories that you have to bring. And we are in our final goal now. What's the frequency of students' points in a class interval of 10? For that again, you have to go insert your pivot table. Yes, pivot table. And we want to have a class interval, right? So for that class interval, what we need to do, we have to consider our points into the rows. Okay, we get all the points. Remember, we have students from all the points. They got uh, even one point, some students got even 100 points. Uh, one student got 100, point, 100 points also. And we want to know the number of students get those many points, right? And this has to be the count of students that get that. So how many students get four points? Two students. How many get how many students get three points? Four students got three points. So our goal is to create a class interval and the frequency. So for that you could select on any cell of your row labels, which is nothing but the points, 
right click and group group by let's say i'm doing by five okay so starting from one and ends at hundred um by group five so that means one to five how many one to five points how many students and six to ten points how many students like that i would get okay so again this way you could get some kind of uh, um, inference from this data is 1 to 5 12 students 41 to 45 10 students okay but again our goal is to group by the class interval of 10 right so for that you could always um, ungroup select one of those ungroup now you get everything by ungrouped and then group it back with 1 to 100 by class interval size by 10 okay now you got this and uh, you could insert a pivot chart insert pivot chart and let's change the graph style a little bit and uh, you know you could always put access titles because uh, in all the graphs it's always recommended to put access titles this is nothing but frequency and for some graphs it may not be necessary to put the access titles because the, it's direct from the pivot chart um, this is nothing but class interval of points right data labels remove grid lines and uh, now you could be able to see this and rename your chart uh, title okay with this we have uh, drawn or analyze our data from the larger data set to simple statistics uh, by writing our goals and by using a pivot pivot tables uh, in excel sheet Thank you for watching.